so nice. I got some um, pineapple juice with coconut in when I went to Asda the other day. Oh, it tastes like a pina colada, bloody gorgeous. My house for some reason is absolutely freezing cold today. Like I dreaded getting out of bed this morning, but Lewis woke me up because he had June in it and um, put Christmas songs on. Oh. You know what I've done? I've put the bun. So that's the top of the bread, and that's the top of the bread. That's the bottom of the bread, and that's the bottom of the bread. I've made bacon sandwiches the wrong way around. I don't know why I just took a mouth closed. I'm about to speak. They were really cute, actually. Louis woke up this morning, obviously ready for you then, ready to leave the house, and he started blasting Christmas songs from the Alexa. Was literally jumping up and down on my bed, and I was just laid there, like wrapped in the duvet, like it was cute. And it woke me up, and I was ready for the day. Today's actually Friday. I feel like these vlogs have been all over the place, and I keep forgetting to change the card at the beginning. If you look back on the past like three vlogs, it said Vlogmas Day 2. <laughs> and I only realized once it's gone up and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why did I not change that? So do apologize for that. Please ignore it. But yeah, today's Friday. I don't know when the last vlog went up. I filmed yesterday, but I really don't feel like I filmed enough. We had a nice little day, went to go and get vaccinated, didn't end up happening, which I'm glad about actually, because I came back home and I felt really, really ill. So I'm glad that didn't end up happening because I feel like it would have just thrown me off all day today and made me feel even worse. However, I feel like I woke up this morning. I don't know if it was the Christmas spirit and Lewis jumping up and down on my bed this morning that's like woke me up and give me a spring in my step, but I feel a lot better today. I am actually um, got a really busy weekend. I'm going home this weekend as tradition to put up the Christmas tree with my parents. They wait for me to come back every single year. So I'm excited to do that. We literally have a full jam-packed weekend of Christmas festivities and seeing my friends and stuff. So like I said, I've not really picked up my camera on days I'm not doing things because I'm literally just working. But this weekend, it's the weekend, which means we're gonna do some Christmassy fun things. So stay tuned for that. I'll insert the little footage that I did get yesterday in a second, but don't get your hopes up because it's not much. <laughs> Guys, I do interrupt this cute montage to let you know that Freya is in fact about to murder me in 0.5 seconds. I said I'd be ready to leave, and I said I was ready to leave. I have my bloody slippers on still, my loves. I'm nowhere near ready to leave. Got my cup of tea though. You ready? She's gonna ring my bell any minute. Just wait for it. I told you. Who's <laughs> <laughs> ready to go? I know, I answered the door and said he's coming for a cup of tea, Hannah. And then I saw his face. I, I was like, oh. scorching so hard. <laughs> Not so well. That was so funny. There, look at I am. I am. <laughs> right, and he actually did to get ready. Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. I haven't actually started my vlog this morning. In fact, I filmed some little clips, but I've not actually spoke to y'all. I'm now round at Anna's. I feel like I woke up super, super late this morning. I woke up past the point actually that my car parking had run out on my car. Odds on me having a parking fine. I've not actually checked, I need to go and do that. I'm round at Anna's, as you can see, just popped over here. We're actually gonna go into town for a little mooge. We're gonna go and have some food and stuff. I'm actually gonna go and get my second vaccine. Probably gonna be a messy for queue, I can't lie. While I'm doing that, I think Anna and Freya are just gonna go around shopping. Then I'm gonna meet them afterwards. Words, but I feel like today has been the biggest rush and I feel like I've done nothing. I sat edited all morning and then it was two o'clock and Freya were at my house and I was like, oh, which you will have just seen. Still in my dressing gown. I've not yet had breakfast. Probably shouldn't be going to get my vaccine on an empty stomach. But I literally just woke up at like 11 o'clock. I keep doing this. Whenever Lewis doesn't sleep at my house, my alarm just doesn't wake me up and I just sleep through it. And then I wake up like, oh my God, fuck. So I woke up this morning, got on with my editing, I finished all my work for the day, so at least I'm being productive work-wise, but vlog-wise, this is like the second clip, and I've actually filmed nothing, but that's not, that's not a downer on the vlog. I really like my outfit today, actually, I'm gonna go and shoot a Boohoo ad, so everything that I'm wearing is actually from Boohoo, I love the trousers, I'll show you in a sec, I don't know where, Anna's mirror has gone from over there, so I don't know where I can show you my trousers, give me a sec, my labs. This is probably the worst angle ever, but look how cool these trousers are, they're like a wet, I don't so think they let a look, because I don't think they look leather, they just look a bit wet, like a bit shiny. Um, so I've just got these on, some big white boots, which are like my Christmas boots. I wore these in my London vlogs. They're from ASOS or Bershka, but I got on my face ASOS. And I've literally just got on this little white, it looks white in camera, but it's actually cream. Cream little hood and then a big boohoo puffer as well. So yeah, that's the situation. Ooh. Not Anna's light being on on red, cheeky little minx. So yeah, that's the situation. We're gonna go into town now, I'm starving. I don't think I'm gonna have time to go to eat before I go get my vaccine. But then again, I am going into the walk-in. So realistically, is there a time schedule? The only time schedule is the sun's going down, I need to get a photo, so we need to hurry up. Um, so a man just came over to us, dead ass stopped us in our tracks and said, 
What did he say? What were 10, you? 10, 12. 10, 10, 12? Yeah, you were 10, 12. 12. I were 12. I don't know what the fuck is going off. I feel like people in Manchester are on another level. Don't know what was going off. He jumped up out of his seat outside a cafe and was like, let me have this one. Stopped us in our tracks and said, 10, 10, and I were 12. But I want to know what out of, and I want to also know what in what sense. Didn't ask, very scared of the guy. But I'll have to get vaxxed. Look how pretty that is. When I'm older, I want to have big trees like that outside my house at Christmas. Bloody gorgeous. Um, guys, you'll be absolutely overwhelmed to know that we just stood in the queue for a good um, 30 minutes. I did, in fact, also drag Fry and Anna to wait in the queue with me. And it turns out I can't even get my second vaccine because it's not been long enough between my first. Queen shit! <laughs> Guys, how on earth, how on earth do the pretty girls on Instagram wear these and like, look cool. I see girls on my TikTok all the time wearing these little knitted hood things. I literally look like a fucking stormtrooper. I don't know if this is my sign to give up trying to be the pretty girl on Instagram. Um, it's time to be a man, it's time to be a boy. But I just look fucking ridiculous. Like imagine seeing me in the street, like how, how do you wear this? Like the concept is fun. I don't understand. I mean, it's very nice and warm. I am walking around. I'm not going anywhere. Literally not going anywhere. I'm just uh, in the house currently. I mean, I'm going out later on, but I just thought I'd put this on because it's freezing in my apartment and it's nice and cozy with this on. But I keep catching myself in the mirror thinking, Byron, what the fuck are you doing? Also, I bought this scarf yesterday alongside this knitted hood. I were cold and I am cold and my apartment's Reason. Whoever said they prefer winter to summer can actually just stop. Like, I want you to unsubscribe if you actually have ever said that in your life because, quite frankly, I prefer winter fashion. But this temperature, ah, freezing. Anyway, I bought this scarf. Now it looks like a normal scarf. I don't think it's a scarf. I've come to the conclusion that this is, in fact, a throw. Like, she, she's not a scarf. Like, she's absolutely not a scarf because, like, scarves aren't meant to be like this. Like, how, who, how the fuck are you meant to wear this thing? Like, it's not a scarf. Unless it's like one of them, I think what I think it is, it's like one of them things that like you're meant to wear like a sh- Ooh. I really look like I've just got out of an old people's home. Like, who let me off the ward then? Come on. Oh no, bitch. Who let me off the ward? This is the vibes for this year. I do not care anymore. I'm freezing cold. I am gonna walk to Anna's looking like this because it's cozy. And I thought to myself, yeah, this may be a blanket. But so what? I'm gonna wear it as a scarf. Am I gonna wear it as a scarf? That is the real question because look, that's fucking ridiculous. Girls, I really honestly think I'm slipping into some sort of like, ugh. I think I'm having like a weird, weird little funk. And I keep trying to get myself out of it by like, I'm going to Anna's. But then here I am still sat on my fucking dressing room floor. In this silly hood, what is this? But I'm freezing. I actually feel very lost in my life a bit right now. And I think vlogging every day is making me, I fucking love it, but I think it's making me um, realize that I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. And it's very scary. I feel like I wake up and I do live the same day every day. Guys, I'm not depressed, <laughs> putting that out there. And I'm not actually even sad. Like I have such a blessed life and I'm not complaining or whinging. I feel like my level of purpose just feels very little currently. I'm stuck in a rut of feeling like I'm not doing enough but then I don't know what I should be doing or why I should be doing things. <laughs> I just feel a bit ugh currently. I think I feel guilty for feeling like this because I know everything I'm saying it sounds like such a whiny place of f***ing privilege. And like, oh, you didn't have to get up and work at 9 five. My boyfriend works his absolute f***ing arse off. <sighs> Wakes up every single day at the crack of dawn, goes to work, comes back absolutely exhausted. I don't know what I'm saying. I just feel guilty and I feel like I'm not working hard enough and I feel like I don't deserve what I've got currently and I'm also scared that everything I've got currently is not gonna last forever because I feel like I'm not putting enough work to maintain it and I feel like I don't know what I'm working towards I just feel this shit I said in the last vlog that I needed to cry and I feel like it's being built up and here I am I what the f*** am I doing? Look at the state of this room I could have at least closed my in drop what is even in the cupboard i just feel like i don't know what i'm doing and it's all very scary and i know i'm young but i'm just like oh my god what am i doing and from an outsider's perspective i would look at my life and think get off your dressing room floor you little whiny bitch 
I sit and watch some people that do YouTube and I sit and hear them cry and I think, oh babe, grow up. Like, are you actually hearing what you're saying? Like, fucking grow up. The world is more than you taking an Instagram photo, babe. Like, people are struggling. I just feel shit about myself. I feel like I should be doing more. I feel like I could be doing more, but I don't know what more is. Especially, like, looking, I keep saying it, Lewis works is Parts off, and I just feel guilty. I feel guilty. I feel like such a privileged piece of f***ing shit. Like my mum works f***ing ass off all day, every day, Monday till f***ing Sunday. She don't have time to sit around and cry about how little she does. She don't have the fucking time. I do have the time, and here I am crying about it. Like what? I need to pack my bags. <laughs> this is a waste of time. I need to pack my bags because I've got me home so oh, I'm blaming this all on daylight savings. This is the sun's fault. Sun, please come back because I need you to make me feel like oh, something. Ugh. I just hate myself currently. I'm blowing my nose into an <laughs> old sock that needs to go in the wash. I'm gonna stop being a whiny little bitch now and I'm actually gonna pack my case to go home tomorrow to see my mom, see my dad, my brother and my dogs. And yeah. Right everyone, I have in fact stopped crying and I have in fact packed my bags for this weekend. Um, I think I found a better use for my scarf than um, actually wearing it as a scarf. I think it looks quite good on my sofa there. Imagine when the Christmas lights are on, like everything's looking nice and fancy. She looks quite nice. Did in fact ask for a little throw for my sofa for Christmas though, so we'll see. Maybe my mum and dad will get me a nicer one. If not, at least I've got one. And I can also wear it as a scarf if I want. Bloody double, double barrel I was gonna say there. Multi-purpose, that's what that is. Multi-purpose. Anyway, I'm um, gonna decide what I'm doing with my life. Pack up some shopping. My bags are all packed and ready to go. I do feel a bit lighter now. I do wanna say again, I'm sorry for that little interruption of the vlog. Don't know what that was. Um, I do feel a lot better now. So what I'm gonna do is pack up some of this stuff in the fridge because I I've got loads of stuff that goes off whilst I'm away and take it over to Lewis's house and cook him a lovely little meal.